out loud. Yes, pray out loud. God is giving us a second chance around the globe. No country has ever had the chance that Southern Sudan is having to emerge as a new nation. For South Sudan, independence is not a gift you were given. Independence is a prize you have won. Now, there's a lot of heads of state here today, the presidents of um, all the regional countries, there's delegations from all around the world, a delegation from the United States. So now South Sudan has relationships, and it isn't just an internal fight. They're a nation. This has been a historic day, of the birth of a new nation. I'm not sure if I'll ever see this again in my lifetime. But this nation was born out of a very difficult struggle for freedom. But we saw the swearing in of a new president, uh, President Saba Kiir, the lowering of the Sudanese flag and the right raising of the new uh, southern Sudanese flag. And so it really was a great day, and we gave glory to God. We have waited for, for 56 years for this day. It is a dream that has come true. One of the parade segments showed the, the, the wounded veterans coming down, their arms gone, they're waving their stubs so proudly, their, their legs are gone, they're marching with dignity. And I'm just so happy for the people of the Republic of South Sudan and it's, such, it's really so historical to be here. Isaiah 18, that the people of South Sudan will suffer, but one day they will again be happy and regain their happiness to the extent that they will even give gifts to others. Isaiah 18, that's what it says in the Bible. And it has come true. And they did not forget those that died, uh, for those that shed their blood for, uh, for peace and for freedom. Uh, but today we celebrate and we thank God uh, for what he has done in this country. We thank God for his son, Jesus Christ, who shed his blood on Calvary's cross for our sins.